with a famous celebrity Cube alumni, one of the early uh, Cube alums, Doug Cutting, uh, founder of Hadoop, coined the word Hadoop. We've been through that. Go look at the archives. We've had many videos on that, so we don't need to drill down on where he got the name, all that stuff. Doug, welcome back. Thank you um, very much. John. We are an institution, and you are on the Cube, and always an invitation. And we expect you to be on the Cube every time we do <laughs> a Hadoop world. So uh, uh, we'd love love talking to you. So. Last time we talked, uh, you were working on some, some cool stuff. So tell us, what's up, what's, up, what's up right now? What are you working on? Um, sort of continuation of the same stuff. I, um, I, I don't remember what I said last time, so maybe I'll repeat myself. But uh, you know, I still spend uh, some portion of my time writing code. Uh, spend a portion of my time uh, working at Apache, trying to keep the, the foundation running smoothly. Um, and uh, spend some of my time out talking with customers and, and see, you know, trying to Stay on top of what's going on in the in the Hadoop we world. We just had the new president from HortonWorks on, Herb, who's was talking about uh, open source 2.0, and we had a really good. We don't want to get into the whole HortonWorks Cloud Era thing, but we really want to talk more about open source and how it's evolved. And uh, you know, we're old enough to look at. Remember the first generation of open source. There's been evolutions. Give us your view now of what where open source is. Um, apparently, the word 100% is a very key word right now. So so 100% open source seems to be the the flavor. The communities are growing. Um, more computer science students are native open source guys. So all this is happening. What's your perspective on open source community as it's evolving? And, and what are some of the new things that are happening, new dynamics, good and bad? Well, I think in part, there's a technical component to the, the uh, success of open, open source in this space, um, which is simply, uh, if you need things to scale, um, uh, you don't want to pay per CPU you run it on. That's, that's, that, that's a hindrance to scalability. Um, and the, the Hadoop world is all about scalability. Um, uh, we want to scale to arbitrary amounts of hardware. We want to use the most economical hardware we can. Uh, and, and so open source really fits that very, natural, very naturally. Um, uh, it, it is a scalable technology um, uh, at root. I think also people are, um, are more concerned about getting locked in to something from a vendor. Uh, and so this notion of, of having a platform uh, that everyone can share and build on um, uh, that is open source uh, is, is, a, is a real advantage. You don't have to have that concern. Um, it means the vendors, uh, like Cloudera, have to earn their paychecks. Um, uh, we, can't, we can't just sort of, you know, just keep sending a bill every year and, and not do anything. Um, we've got to provide real value to our customers. Uh, and, and, you know, we, we think we're doing pretty well at that so far. Um, you uh, are. You guys so two things um, you said there. One is commodity, you know, components, and, and, and the other is lock-in. We were at Oracle Open World a few weeks ago and listened to Larry Ellison. We, uh, we love Larry because he just gives us so much <laughs> fodder. <laughs> and he said, you know, big data, meet big iron. And he showed us this, you know, basic demo and, 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 and with data. a million and a half dollar <laughs> infrastructure. Right. So you think of, you know, big iron, expensive infrastructure. You think of Oracle, you think of, of lock-in. Is that sort of <laughs> antithetical to your vision of, of, of Hadoop? Or does it fit in because it's bringing you know, that <coughs> capability to the legacy world? Well, I mean, Oracle has adopted Hadoop as its um, big data solution. Uh, so, um, uh, it, you know, it does fit in, obviously, somehow. Uh, you know, if, if people find value in, in, in Big Iron, um, uh, then good for them. I mean, we're really designing for, for a more commodity um, uh, price point. But if you look at Oracle's big data appliance, it's not priced the same. The, the hardware is not priced in the, in the same realm as their Exadata um, uh, hardware appliance. Um, it really is uh, priced more like a commodity uh, component, as it ought to be. Um, right. So one uh, thing people talk about is performance, and uh, and that's with Apollo, your new platform mm -hmm. that Jeff was on earlier, Hammer Rock, and we went into great detail about the vision there and the, the prospects of real time, et cetera, et cetera. But at the end of the day, there was some skeptics out there that didn't think the performance could be there run HDFS and some other things. Um, you guys have checked those boxes. So take us through the view of like, well, you know, the passion, but also more of the technical things, wh why that performance is getting, especially with HDFS. Well, I think, you know, a few years ago, uh, we thought there were things that didn't really fit in the, in the big data platform. Uh, certain certain uh, capabilities um, uh, were kind of outside the scope. You know, your joins and certain kinds of interactive workloads and transactions and things like that. And I think one by one, we're knocking those off, uh, and I think it's it's really proving to be a very general purpose data platform, um, and and will be even more so in the long haul. Um, so this is just one more of those. Uh, you know, it's been a big big project, big effort um, uh, to figure out how to how to get better interactive performance, um, and we're you know we're not through with that journey. There's going to be more improvements down down the pike uh, for Impala, um, 
but uh, you know, there's there's a, a lot of um, low-level tricks. You know, code generation, um, uh, being aware of the CPU cache, being aware of um, uh, which how busy different disk spindles are. There's a lot of tricks going on in Impala to get the performance uh, that that we want out of it. Well, the point is you're engineering. It's not just a pipe dream. Right, there's some engineering right. involved. There's a lot of engineering. Um, speaking of engineering, I want to talk about HBase, because we love HBase, uh -huh. and you've seen our little demo app we've built on HBase with uh, Danny and our team. But I want to talk about the guys you just hired. Mm -hmm. Michael Stack, who's yep. a great guy. I met him at uh, HBase Con, um, and a few other guys. Yep, two, two other folks. Yep. Yeah, so from, from I mean, upon. explain um, that whole dynamic now. I mean, you got some heavy hitters on the HBase team there. You know, we, we uh, try to have people who are involved in uh, just about all the projects uh, that we include in the, in the um, distribution uh, in, in, in CDH. Um, you know, and there's, I think, 15 odd projects in CDH, uh, and it's, it's really helpful when we're supporting customers on those projects, to have the people who are the you know some of the primary developers on the projects uh, in-house um, to directly answer those questions, um, uh, res you know, respond to feature requests and bug reports, um, and so you know, HBase has proven hugely popular. It's a complicated product, um, and it's it's moving quickly. So having more people in-house who can who can really help us with that um, and help make sure that the project is moving in in directions that our customers are interested in uh, is 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 critical. So um, I wonder if we could, we could tap your brain for a minute. You're talking about uh, your involvement in Apache before. Mm -hmm. We had um, the CEO of Squirrel on earlier, and uh, they're behind, of course, the Accumulo project. Yep. So I wonder if you could comment on that, and maybe in terms of, we're talking about HBase, is, will HBase evolve into something like that, or is, is what Accumulo's doing distinct enough uh, to create its own space? I can't answer that definitively. I mean, it really depends on the HBase community and the Accumulo community and whether they want to come together or whether they, they think they can, uh, you know, go it alone. Yeah, it's um, not up to you. A Apache to doesn't have to, doesn't feel compelled um, to have only one solution in one area, uh -huh. uh, which, you know, if you were a commercial vendor would probably, you know, want, want to focus its customers on, on one particular solution. Um, we're really all about fostering communities uh, that are collaborating uh, in, a, in a healthy manner uh, at Apache and uh, Accumulo. And uh, HBase bo both seem to be doing that. They seem to have, you know, slightly different user bases. Um, whether over time one will come to subsume the, subsume the other, whether they'll merge, you know, we'll see. Um, uh, you know, I, I don't think I think they're getting along well. I think the competition is is healthy. I think they're they're driving one another. Um, uh, so technically, they're quite distinct. Is that correct, or not oh necessarily? I wouldn't say quite distinct. Yeah. I think they're distinct. There's some th some features um, in each that the other doesn't have. Um, uh, and and so that and that some of their users depend on critically. Um, so I think I think people are having a hard time. People who who've adopted one or the other can't switch <coughs> easily. Um, uh, but you know they they're also very similar in many ways. Um, they're both inspired by the the uh, big table paper from Google. What about um, visualization tools? You're hearing a lot of activity. We've heard a lot about it since you know the, our first Hadoop world. Um, I know Tableau's made a bunch of announcements this week. People lining up to do business with them. And in, in, in fact, however, Tableau sort of predated Hadoop. Right. Um, what's your thought on that? How visualization tools will evolve to really take advantage of some of the concepts that you were talking about earlier, the distributed yeah. nature of Hadoop? I think as this platform um, be, you know, gets greater adoption um, and becomes a, a mainstay of IT, we'll start to see things, <coughs> visualiz visualization tools develop directly for the platform. Uh, currently, I think the bulk of those kinds of tools are things that either pre-existed or mm -hmm. are developed outside um, and work with other, other technologies as well. Um, and I think over time that's going to shift. Um, at Cloudera, we really want to develop a, a, a level playing field for vendors to compete building uh, uh, those kinds of solutions. Um, so so we're, 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 we're not doing anything in that space at this point. Doug, um, take, right. us, take us through, let's take, a, let's take a little mental break and not go into some of the technology stuff, but take a step back and talk about the Apache community. Something mm -hmm. that you're very passionate about, mm -hmm. obviously, um, and and take us through for the folks out there a day in the life of <laughs> <laughs> keeping the peace in Apache or holding the the, the fort down um, and managing the projects because Apache is growing very fast. You have diversity in there; it's it's pumping on all cylinders, and you know it's like an engine. It's got to run. You got to lube it up sometimes. So, so take us through what goes on. For a lot of people oh. don't have the inside baseball, and it is changing. So share with us <laughs> your your color commentary on Apache. It's not as sexy as you might imagine. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds <laughs> really good. What are they doing in there, Apache? I want to join. <laughs> you know, I've been on the board of directors for, uh, you know, I guess three years now, or more than that, maybe. The man uh, cave for geeks. It's like, you know, something's <laughs> going on in there. I've been, I've been the chair for the last couple of years. Um, 
And, uh, you know, we, we have little power. I mean, I, we have a lot of power, but we exercise it very little um, uh, on, on the board. Um, uh, primarily because, you know, it, we're a volunteer organization. Um, we can't really tell people what to do. They're all people who come there uh, because they want to be there, uh, and we need to make it a nice place for them to be. So mostly what we look for um, are uh, places where people aren't behaving nicely, aren't um, uh, listening to other people, aren't creating a level playing field um, for, for the creation of, of high quality software. Um, and then sometimes we have to step in a, as a board and, and sort of say, um, you know, quit, stop doing that. But that's very rare, you know, on the order of once a year, so we've got 100 projects. Involved. There's a lot of self-governance. Uh, we try to push everything down. Mostly what we're doing is monitoring. Um, we're, we have a, a meeting every month. Uh, we read about uh, 40 reports um, for every meeting. Uh, and every what director kind of has to read those. What kind of reports are those? It's like, like uh, what happened in the project that month? Bug what happened in that area? Like people in no, like no, more like status updates. They're status updates um, from each each of the projects. Each of the you know uh, project. Well, a, a third of the projects reports um, every month uh, to the board um, and submits so a written report. So there's some process, but again, recognizing that there's volunteers, it's not like you know people are grinding away, but people are working hard. You know, they, yeah. if they don't submit a report, we come <laughs> down on them. Yeah. Take it to the woodshed. <laughs> 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 Whatever that is. Crowd <laughs> meeting is as, as tough as we get. Shame yeah. them into. Yeah. So <laughs> is it more just process oriented, you know, communication, or is it is it you know two way? You guys advising, um, giving direction. De definitely trying to advise. Yeah. Um, when we we, th we see you know signs of things that we we know in the past have have worked poorly. Um, have led to um, bad community structures, then we'll say, you know, that's probably not the best way to go. Um, here's some examples of, of how that might go wrong. Um, so perhaps you ought to think out of doing of doing things this way. Um, and uh, but you know, try to have a, a, a soft hand generally, um, and and just limit it to advice. Um, it's so mostly and it's and it's I'd say the bulk of the time is just keeping that watchful eye. So my final question, because I know you're super busy and you are you are always uh, shaking hands. Kissing babies, stealing <laughs> lollipops, you know, they had what, you, what you do in your business. Um, I know you gotta get back to your other stuff. Um, thanks for coming on theCUBE, but my final question is, what do you think of the show this year? I mean, obviously, uh, you're a proud papa for Hadoop, and Mike Olson was awesome this morning saying, you know, he remembered the first Hadoop world when 500 people showed up, they were blown away that there's yeah. 500 people actually know what Hadoop is. Um, what's your think feeling of the show in terms of content and, and vibe? And then just talk about how you feel. Um, I'm astonished with how big it is. I mean, it, it just keeps growing and growing. Um, and, uh, you know, I think it deserves to be that big, you know, and if I think about it rationally, um, but I'm still surprised. Uh, you know, it, it viscerally, I'm like, whoa, this is, this is really, really happening. Uh, it, it shouldn't surprise me, um, uh, but it does ev every time. Uh, when, I, when I see the, the, the ballroom this morning, yeah, uh, you know, was move. There, were there, yeah, there wasn't an empty seat in the house, balcony was full, um, and, uh, you know, it's, so that, that's, that's exciting to see. And what about the show content? Looking at the, the the evolution of Hadoop, what are some of the the, the, the key themes that are orbiting around the uh, ecosystem right now that are hot? I think we're seeing a lot of reports uh, from real use cases that, that you know where, where it's it's no it's out of the pilots uh, in in more and more places. Um, uh, we're seeing uh, spreads into uh, a lot of new application areas. Um, uh, so I know it's 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 just all uh, exciting. It's uh, all good. Yeah. Okay, Doug Cutting, uh, founder of Hadoop. One of the original guys working on the key project to get it off the ground. Um, great work, great success. Always fun to talk to you. It's a great accomplishment and uh, proud to know you and, and interview you. Appreciate Thanks it. very much okay. for having me. We'll be right back with uh, theCUBE on SiliconANGLE TV right after this short break with our next guest.